admit to yourself that you are constantly haunted by a suppressed dissatisfaction with your own arrangement of your daily life and that the primal cause of that inconvenient dissatisfaction is the feeling that you are every day leaving undone something which you would like to do. Well, if that isn't me, this week, today's Wednesday, by the way, this week is gonna be particularly intense. I don't know if you can see the, uh, see all those little post-it thingies up there on the calendars? There's a lot of external obligations this week, as well as just stuff that I need to get done, as well as wanting to spend time with my family, as well as practicing. Those are the things, always trying to juggle those things. So, what is this? This is maybe a dumb idea, maybe a great idea. The idea is, this week is so full for me, I thought, what if I turned the camera on for this week rather than a week where it's not seemingly as full? Tomorrow night is the guitar band show at the Blue Whale. NAM is this weekend, and I have a handful of gigs around the weekend, end of weekend, and even into next week. Monday, I have a, a show with, with Jay's band. If you saw like two vlogs ago with Jay or Ye Yenning's band were playing, I think in Hollywood on Monday night. Today, I need to get a bunch of things done. I need to get the music mapped out for tomorrow and tomorrow night's sets. I have one new song, which I basically have just barely finished. This is not it. Ah, the song thing. I wanted to write like a whole new set of material. And I just didn't, I didn't get around to turning these endless files of song ideas. I have just, I mean, I have, I don't know hundreds in voice memos and Evernote files and computer files and sketches and but you know it's one thing to have a little idea it's an entirely other thing to turn that idea into a finished song. If I have 60 composed published recorded songs there's at least 10 or 20 times that ideas that I've just thrown out or never done anything with. Here's an example of a file where I sang this in, that's just voice, me singing into a microphone to capture the idea real fast. And then here is me kind of trying to figure out, okay, what key was that in and what kind of harmony am I maybe hearing it and maybe some melody going on the piano. And then uh, let's see, I started to put together just a stupid guitar sound. And that's on purpose because I want my demo to be semi-bad. So the idea is this, I'm using this, I'm using you as a little bit of external accountability and motivation to help me get my ass in gear and take care of the things that need to be taken care of. For one, practicing. I gotta not only fit it in, but prioritize it amongst everything else. And the way that I'm currently trying to do that is super early in the morning. I try to get in 45 minutes before I take my daughter to school around 7.30. And at least then that has happened. There's another thing that's going on, which is that, um, I mean, the, of course it's happening right now. That record that I did back in March, if you go back in the vlogs, like around the late 90s. When I wake up in the morning in the markets, I don't want it. I don't think I'll ever make it on time. Not, not like 1999, but like episode 90 something or other. That recording was happening with Yannick and Russell and Sean. We're almost there. The, the video has been edited and the audio is done, except that the mixes were just tweaking and it needs to be mastered and then put together with the video and all that. So I have to review all of those mixes and that just takes time sitting down and facing the music, literally or at least very figuratively, like I have to sit down and deeply listen to the music. And this is by the way, after a long, many months of reviewing stuff before we even chose what got mixed, this is now that that's been chosen, it's about like, do these mixes sound the right way? And, and then which order is everything gonna go in to be mastered and what's it called and all of that stuff, which is always the most difficult part for me, or at least one of the most difficult parts. The point of this video is just to say, I'm gonna try to document this week as it goes along, as opposed to after. See, originally I thought, oh great, there's a bunch of activity this week, I'll document it and then I'll make a vlog after. But the problem with that, and this goes back to why I originally started this in the first place, the problem with that is then I start to accumulate a lot of material and then it becomes another pressure because it bec like making one of these episodes becomes it becomes too precious to me. I bec it becomes like, oh, it has to be just right. And that, if you go back to the early episodes, was the antithesis of why I began this. I started doing this as literally a, a way, a sort of a creative outlet that was also a bit of a, 
sort of to light a fire under my own, you know what, to just do and move forward. Do some, make the thing and then move forward. And I, my favorite part of it was at the end of the day when I would put this thing together, I would delete, as soon as it was uploaded, I, I would delete everything and I loved that part. And I thought that two things might be accomplished here. One, it would be interesting to sort of bring you along through the week's activity and, and how I try, underline try, to maintain a balance with everything through a kind of chaotic week. And number two, I'm hoping that the process of actually talking about it while doing it serves to really reinforce the, the what's important for me, like what the, the really important things are. Like Arnold Bennett says in this wonderful book from about 1910, if you don't have this book, I highly recommend it, How to Live on 24 Hours a Day. Time is a great deal more than money. If you have time, you can obtain money, but you cannot buy yourself a minute more than I have. So today, or rather I should say by tomorrow, I wanna to have my office cleaned up. Why? Because when I'm in a state of physical clutter, I tend to be in a state of mental clutter. I wanna get some solid practicing in so I feel strong on the horn for tomorrow. Three, I wanna have all the music mapped out for the guitar band show tomorrow. I want the charts printed for the band, charts taped and printed, and I wanna have at least a good guess at what two set lists might look like, like order of songs, and be really ready to walk in there tomorrow for a rehearsal because I, I have a feeling I might not get a chance to either practice or warm up or do much of anything between the NAM panel that I have in the morning, commuting to NAM, speaking at that panel, and then commuting back to LA, and basically by the time I get back, it's almost gonna be time to go downtown and get do sound check, so I won't be able to just kind of have a calm, quiet day, and then go to the show tomorrow night. It's not gonna be that at all. Fourth is I need to review these these mixes for this new record. I just, I need to sit, spend some time doing that. Awesome, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> so sure. Yes. I don't know if it goes there.